Good day, everyone. Meteorologist Mark Muller here. How's everybody getting along? Well, after this horrible, severe weather across the south, that energy is going to pull to the north as we got that big old low pressure across the northern plains with all that blizzard-like conditions. Take a look at that. But yeah, this is going to be translating towards the east. Winter storm warnings are already in effect for Thursday into Friday in the interior parts of the northeast. We could be looking at a one-two punch here with big snows inland here in upstate New York, northern Pennsylvania here into northern New England. And yeah, that moisture from the Atlantic and that cold air funneling in behind. We could see some pretty big snowfall totals here as we go into parts of the northeast. And we'll get into the details of just how big the snowfall totals look. Let's get into it. All right, so the upper level flow, 500 millibar pattern, that's the key, that low holding back, another low here, and a third low will be forming here on the east side. So watch this uh, energy kind of congeal here across the east for Friday. So essentially you have the jet stream feeding into this, you have low pressure systems combining forces with a coastal low in here, there's that low holding back there across the western Great Lakes. And watch this as we go into the weekend Lots of energy to be had here to energize that potential coastal system here. It's not going to be a full-fledged coastal because you along the coast will not see snow. But it will blow up this massive wintry mix and heavy snow inland. And watch next week here as we head towards the end of the week. Look at this. Yeah. Could that be a big Christmas nor'easter? All right, so I'm showing you my snowfall totals here. It's a rough sketch because, you know, some of this terrain is really tough to come by. But, you know, uh, this is a generalized, you know, the purple shading is that warning criteria 6 to 8, 8 to 12 into this lighter shading. So essentially what you have here, you know, Hudson Valley is a tough spot here. You know, Albany area, you're going to be teetering right on the edge between advisory and warning. Look at that. The Adirondacks, Catskills, and Poconos chance... You know, if you're above 1,200 feet, you have a chance to get above, you know, a foot of snow here. And it's going to be tricky here in northwestern Connecticut, too. I think you'll be teetering right on the edge between advisory and warning criteria snow. And it could get pretty heavy there in western Massachusetts as well. But, yeah, we're looking upstate New York, northeast and north central Pennsylvania. All right, so as we take a look at snowfall totals here out of the European model... This is an ideal situation, you know, the 10 to 1 ratio. It's not going to be that in some of the valleys. But I wanted to show you this because this is what I'm most in agreement with. Yeah, it's going to be really close. You know, the Euro is kind of bringing some of the snow here into the Hudson Valley as well. It's going to be really close for you, though. The heaviest snow is going to be just west of you. But take a look at this. Places uh, from north central, northeastern Pennsylvania, just north of Scranton, up towards Binghamton, Utica into the Adirondacks, and then over here into western Massachusetts and Vermont. We could see these snowfall totals approach a foot or more in many of these locations. And would not be surprised if we approach two feet in some of the parts of the Catskills, southeastern Adirondacks, and here into parts of New England. So definitely keep an eye on this. Also keep an eye on here uh, the eastern Catskills and Poconos. That colder trend, especially on Friday, I think the Euro is hinting you know, at this. Uh, if we actually take a look at the Kachera ratio, it takes more into effect the warmer uh, lower layers. You know, this this might be more in line, especially the valley locations here. You take a look at this. Um, it kind of tones down these totals a bit towards the 7 to 11 inch range. Still really showing a lot of snow up here in the Adirondacks the eastern Catskills as well. So definitely keep an eye on this trend here. Okay, let's take a look at the dam, 3 kilometer 10 to 1 ratio. There you go. So this is more in line for the hilltops. You know, solid 5 to 12 inches here. 6 to 12 inches. And look at that. Just west of Albany. It's going to be so close for you, Albany. I don't think you're going to see, you know, war, you know, bl full-blown totals. But just here west, you're going to be see some big winners 1 to 2 feet. And just east of you as well here in the western Massachusetts parts of Vermont. All right, so let's take a look at your future radar here. Yeah, that severe weather, that energy is going to be moving towards the northeast here as we get towards Thursday at 6 a.m. Take a look at this. Uh, yeah, mixed precipitation is going to be breaking out from Erie, Oil City, St. Mary's State College, Harrisburg. Watch how this moves in real quickly here, 9 a.m. So by the time you get to work or school, it's already going to be snowing here across north central part of Pennsylvania. And look how this white shading really takes over. This is the heavier snowfall rates here. So you'll get some pretty good snowfall rates here across north central Pennsylvania 
uh, through 1 p.m. on Thursday. And watch how this shield slowly moves to the northeast. It will be battling dry air and high pressure to the north. We'll get into heavier snow breaking out across the Binghamton area as well. So watch out for this 3 p.m. This is just before you get let out of work. Look at this. Yeah, we have a tremendous amount of moisture going on here. We have two low-pressure systems, one moving up to the Great Lakes. It's bringing some warm air here on the back side of it. A secondary low will be developing here uh, between Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, and Harrisburg. And that's going to be bringing up some very moist air here, some warmer air as well. That's what's going to keep you, unfortunately, for you snow lovers here across much of New Jersey, southeastern Pennsylvania, a lot of rain. But look at this. This is translates, especially this area of mixed precipitation. This is 6 p.m. Thursday. Look at these snowfall rates here across north central Pennsylvania into the southern tier of New York. This is where we could really get into some one to two inches an hour as we continue here. We'll take a look at that and some lighter snows back towards St. Mary's and Warren, Pennsylvania. Watch as we continue into the night, though. Thursday, 7 p.m., 8 p.m., 9 p.m. Look at this slug of moisture here to the south. So this is what this is what's going to be pinwheeling up towards the northwest here. And if you're just north of this mixed precipitation line, that's where the heaviest snowfall totals are going to set up. And take a look at this. And they will. Look at this. Thursday, 10 p.m., 11 p.m. Look what's going on here. Yeah. For people who like this snow, yeah, it's not going to be here. Lower Hudson Valley, look at this rain line making it all the way into these areas. Uh, Scranton. You'll be teetering right on the edge. Williamsport, I think you'll change over to rain just after midnight, you know, Thursday night heading into early Friday morning. And look at that. It pushes the mixed precipitation all the way up into the Binghamton area. So you'll see that you'll be teetering on the edge between snow, sleet, freezing rain, and just to the south of Scranton here, rain. Take a look at that. Now we start to see what's going to start to filter in on the backside of the system. Watch how this just evolves here. We start to see heavier uh, precipitation rates and that's going to change us back over to snow here in the Binghamton area by 2 a.m. and look at this yeah the column of air really gets cooled down here we start to see a more convective band setting up so this is where you have to really watch snowfall rates could intensify in the areas you're getting the heaviest snow higher elevations you're definitely going to get focused with the heavier snow totals this is 7 a.m. on Friday now look what starts to happen here this low pressure system is going to be moving right over Philadelphia and this cold air, this cold column of air is going to come filtering back across the region. So you get the dry slot down in here to Philadelphia and Atlantic City and there's that comma, that classic comma shape. Let me zoom out for you. Look at that tropical moisture all the way down to Miami there. This is what we got to look forward to here across the Northeast. It's going to get very messy. And watch as this thing unfolds. This is what could really rack up the snowfall totals in the upper Susquehanna region, the Catskills, Poconos, and the Adirondacks. Look how this starts to pivot. 8 a.m. So those of you that get to manage to get to work, look what's coming for you here in the Binghamton area. All the way down to Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania, and then propagating up to Syracuse. These white areas are heavy snowfall rates, probably one to two inches an hour. And these are going to really start to pile up. You can see the intensity really ramping up. At times, we'll get some layers of warm air that try to filter in to the mid-Susquehanna and upper Susquehanna Valley here. But ultimately, the cold air is going to win out. You see the Adirondacks getting pummeled here, uh, up here into northern New England as well. Take a look at them. Yeah, you're getting some you know, heavy snow up here. The warm layer making it pretty far north, though. Look at that. According to our mesoscale models, that rain snow line pivoting pretty far north here. So it's not your classic coastal system here. Take a look at this. Snow, noon, Friday, filtering back into the Binghamton area. Heavy snowfall rates of one to two inches an hour. So, yeah, we're going to really start to see the snow really pile up here. You're still raining here in parts of the eastern Catskills, Poconos, but that pivot... We'll be moving to the east. This is 1 p.m. This is as far as our mesoscale HRRR future radar can go out. But look at that. Yeah, this is going to set us up for probably the biggest snowfall accumulations right in this area, right across north, central, northeastern Pennsylvania into upstate New York. All right, so I wanted to show you something, uh, another feature of this system as we go in time. Take a look at this. So, yeah, as this system moves in, there's going to be an area where we have some major ice storm warnings as well. So, you know, this is going to run, you know, east of Pittsburgh. You know, it's this Altoona, Johnstown area. It's notorious for heavy icing. 
Yeah, we could see a quarter to a half an inch localized three quarters of an inch. This is going to bring down some power lines. Look at that. That's 10 a.m. Thursday there. That's some heavy icing there. Finally starting to get some rain there by 3 p.m. Thursday. But look at this. We're still socked in with uh, heavy freezing rain in parts, just areas around Altoona over towards Johnstown. And that just continues. Yeah, that's, that's going to be the tr real treacherous side of the system. And I want to make note, too, there could be power outages from this heavy, wet snow across the twin tiers of upstate New York, northern Pennsylvania, all the way up into the Adirondacks. But this is definitely something to watch for. Look at that ice. It's just continuing here on the backside of that system. And that's something I really wanted to bring up to you. You don't really want to so show ice totals on the models. They're not really good at showing ice totals. But you can definitely get an idea. Yeah, there's another shot at that backside of that system, 2 p.m. Friday. That is the concern, is some of those snow bands could be 2 inches plus per hour. And that just continues there into Saturday. Look at that midnight Saturday. That is crazy. So as we go into next week, do we have anything to worry about? This is Wednesday the 21st. Let's back this up a few frames. So we'll have a system, and I'll show you this momentarily on the surface maps. Yeah, we have a system across the southeast, the GFS indicating that that kind of slides off without little fanfare. But look what's forming behind it. This is really interesting. Thursday, 7 p.m. the 22nd. Look at this. We got a system moving in from the west, and this could go coastal on us. Do we have some pre-Christmas snowfall here? This is starting to look like we might have something developing here into some kind of coastal system. So this is, you know, that advertised system we've been watching and then lake effect kicking in behind it. Let's see if we have anything for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. It looks pretty nil here with the exception for the Great Lakes. We do have a system just off the coast, though, that we'll have to continue to watch here. But look at that. The lake effect streamers coming off Lake Erie, Lake Ontario as we head into Christmas week. Yeah, the 28th. We have the potential for another system. Stay tuned. All right, so take a look at the GFS here. What do we got going on? Well, here we go. So, yeah, this is a this is interesting. You know, the GFS is bringing, you know, the heaviest snow in a very similar area to the Euro. We're starting to really see a lot of agreement here and into northern New England as well. You know, large swaths of 7 to 11 inches with locally higher up towards 13, 14, 16 inches. Some of those areas, it's kind of agreement here at Eastern Catskills close to two feet. All right, so taking a look at the heights here, anomalies, we'll see what this pattern is feeding into that's creating this massive East Coast storm here. Take a look at this Friday. Here it is. So this massive trough, you know, it's a little bit more complex than what you originally thought. There's that blocking up there in Greenland and Northeastern North America, massive blocking in the Gulf of Alaska here. But there is that low just kind of kicking out, and it's going to send impulses there along the East Coast. And take a look at this. As we continue in time, we're going to be stuck with it for quite some time until it starts to lift out Monday. But look at that. Another one starts to form. That's that advertised system that we got to watch for here into the Northeast as we get into later next week, just before Christmas and an even bigger storm. Look at this. This is a massive trough that could be forming into some sort of Christmas Nor'easter. All right, so take a look at the Euro here, our latest Euro run. So we got all that severe weather propagating Wednesday night, Thursday across the south. So definitely another active day down here across the south. Please heed those watches and warnings. Not looking very good, but look at there's our layer of heavy mixed precipitation. And now let's actually get up here into the northeast where we can really focus on our winter storm. So this moves into the area. This is the Euro so this is uh, Thursday morning. Let's back it up just a few frames. So, yeah, initially it's going to be sleet and freezing rain. And as the column of air cools here, all the adiabatic cooling, you got this all this isentropic lift out of the southwest here. Yeah, we're going to start to see this column of air cool. And the euro is indicating that pretty nicely here. Uh, this is you know, Thursday afternoon, evening hours. And there's our low pressure system forming. Euro's a little bit further to the south here. Um in time but take a look at this yeah we're seeing friday morning that heavy mixed precipitation and heavy snow albany it's just going to be so close for you just to your northwest and west it's going to be heavy snow and for you you're going to get mixed in and rain at times too but here's the low pressure here on the euro it does become a coastal according to the euro and i think these areas back across uh, northeast Pennsylvania, upstate New York, and the parts of Vermont and New Hampshire will see some of the heaviest snow. And take a look at this as we head in time. Friday afternoon into Friday evening, the snow finally pulling here to the northeast. 
but by this point, the damage will already have been done. All right, so as we take a look at the latest Canadian here, yeah, it's pretty similar here to the Euro. It's uh, The low pressure is a little bit farther to the south, but as we go in time, it's pretty much the same idea. Here's Friday morning, Friday, you know, late morning, Friday afternoon. Yeah, it's pretty similar to the Euro. Uh, that's your rough sketch there of the Canadian. So here we go, the Atlantic and Caribbean Gulf of Mexico tropics. You are looking A-OK. -okay. Enjoy that beautiful low humidity blue skies. Look at this through the 22nd, 23rd. Yeah, you do have a frontal boundary that moves into the northern Caribbean here towards uh, the Christmas Eve. But look how it just slides off to the north, kind of weakens with little fanfare, fanfare here. You'll get into some, you know, showers here approaching uh, Jamaica and east of Belize here. But you know what? For the most part, can't complain. Enjoy those nice conditions. All right, let's take a look at the Western Pacific here. Do we have anything brewing? Well, from the Indian Ocean over here, you know, there's some areas to watch. You know, the southern Philippines here, we got a area just south of you here. Take a look at this. Yeah, it's a pretty big area, but watch as we go in time. That kind of is going to fizzle out, move to the west here. You know, this is Friday the 16th. Let's zoom out just a little bit. We have this little feature over towards Vietnam. But it doesn't look like little fanfare there. Take a look here to the north. You got that frontal boundary that's going to be moving into parts of the northern Philippines. That's going to bring you a little bit of a different air mass. But take a look at this. Yeah, we have some systems here along the intertropical convergence zone as we head towards the latter part of the weekend into Sunday the 18th. You might have some heavier showers moving in. It's going to feel kind of like a monsoon, so to speak. But look at this. By the Wednesday the 21st, look at this frontal boundary to the north. It's actually making it in here to the northern, or yeah, the northern Philippines here. And it might bring some showers here to the central Philippines. So you're going to start to see a wind direction change here. And look at this as we get over towards the Indian Ocean. Things are really heating up here. Nothing really to note, however. Take a look at this as we go in time. Let's go through Christmas here. See if there's anything on the horizon. Well, there is an area just southeast of Vietnam that we'll have to keep an eye on here. You know, this frontal boundary... Might spark off something here uh, west of the Philippines and southeast of Vietnam. Definitely something to keep an eye on because if these systems this time of year can develop and actually swing back north towards the Philippines here. As we continue to go in time, that system kind of gets caught up in the westerlies, gets sheared apart, which is great news. But look what's off our screen here. Yeah, we might have the potential as we go. This is pretty far out though. Wednesday, uh, December 27th, our next system coming on the radar here. And let's take a look here as we go in time. That kind of spins towards the northwest here and kind of takes a move. There's that last frame towards the Philippines. So this is Friday, December 30th. We'll keep an eye on it here. Some of you are sending photos and videos here from John, New Rochelle, New York. Take a look at this. Sun and clouds this past Monday. Look at this. Beautiful skies across the area cruising out there on the open roadway. Things are going to be getting pretty stormy here pretty quick, but getting out there and enjoy it. You got some nice captures there, John. Extended outlook for my hometown viewers, Binghamton, Upper Susquehanna River Valley. Take a look at this. Thursday through Sunday. Yeah, Thursday we got that sleet, freezing rain mixture, quickly changing over to snow, probably 2 to 3 inches by dark Thursday night. Yeah, we're going to see snow, sleet, freezing rain changing back to snow towards dawn. Probably another three to six inches here. And then Friday's the big wild card. We could see an additional four to six plus inches here as we get some heavier snow on the backside of the system. Temperatures will be marginal. That The heavy wet snow could bring some power outages. That is the concern as we head into the weekend. Mostly set cloudy skies. Temperatures into the lower 30s. Thanks for joining me for this edition of Media Marks Weather Northeastern. Don't forget... Link is in the description down below for my winter outlook for this winter season. And also, if you want to buy me a coffee, tip jar also down below. You can find it down there. Also, Facebook, Media Mark. Also, Weather Northeastern. Also, Hurricane Northeastern. Also, Twitter, at Weather Eastern. And don't forget, MediaMark.com, WeatherNortheastern.com. Thanks for joining me.